Hey, Jemily. No. <laughs> she does it. She, it's time for her to take her morning medicine. No. She's like, no. no. And we're also having a good laugh right now because I took a picture of myself. You're not following on Instagram. You missed out. I took a picture of myself in my bikini for the first time, like in forever. But none of my clothes fit. None. So Sarah goes in her room and she's like, Mom, you have your overalls and brings me the overalls. And I put the overalls on without having to undo any of the buttons. So none of the buttons had to be undone. And we start laughing because Sarah takes a picture of me with it on and I look like I have no chest, <laughs> which I have a chest as we all know. But it was really funny because the pants are so big that I let go of the thing and they just slid down. And Sarah's like, Mom. <laughs> Maybe put a belt on <laughs> with the overalls. Like, they're so big, you guys. I'm like, I could fit my whole arm in here with my. I could put both arms in on the sides of my overalls. Like, this is. You want to know how much weight I lost? That that's in here. And sorry, my bed's not made. But you know what? This is life. We're gonna go get a few things done today. It's my last day off for the week, and then I've got six days straight before I have another day off, which is all together, it'll be like 62 hours for the week. Everything's a mess in here. I pulled all my clothes out. You guys, all my clothes are out because nothing fits. So we are gonna go to the Goodwill and see if we can find me some shorts and stuff because nothing fits right now. And I'm wearing the overalls because it's kind of the only thing I have that I don't have to try to put a belt on and try to make fit me um, just to go get a few things. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm wearing like a little crop top, which I never wear, but I look like in the picture, I look like I had no chest and it was way funny. So anyway, and of course, hold on, I'll have to show you guys. Hold on. Look at this little goober. Well, he's not even little. He's huge. Tut, what are you doing? And Honey made a mess again. She must have been running again overnight. She made a mess. Yeah. She does too. She throws her bedding everywhere when she starts running around the cage. If anybody has one of these type of cages, like for pets, like my everything's a mess right now, let me know because she gets to running around and she flings stuff everywhere. My work shirts. Um everywhere like everywhere um so let me know if you guys know any ways to like clean that up or to prevent that from happening i thought about maybe putting something like on the outside around that like, like that base border but i have a feeling if i do that she's just gonna try to chew on it through the wire mesh and i don't want her doing that i don't know if she'd even be able to get to it though maybe go get a couple extra pieces of wood and paint it to match her hutch and then put that on Maybe that's a good idea. I don't know. You guys leave comments um, telling me what's a good way to try to fix that. Uh, because we get up every morning to a disaster because she runs around through the night. I love that swimsuit on you, Sarah. Thank you. It is so cute. I would show it, but she's adjusting right now. Is it the, the cup piece? Don't you just love those stupid things? This swimsuit is literally super cute. If you're on the larger side or on the heavier side, this is the type of swimsuit to get, seriously, because it is really cute. I'll let you get yourself adjusted and then we can show them your swimsuit because it's super freaking cute whenever she's ready. Like that? Yes. This is Sarah's little swimsuit. How adorable is that swimsuit? Like, that is super, super cute. And it's a two piece, so she can, if she's laying out, she can actually roll that part up just so she can lay out and tan. But it's super adorable. I love it. And my baby's beautiful no matter what size she is. So I don't want to hear no hater comments. Um, everybody's okay, different right. sizes. And she's also lost quite a bit. So, yes, she was larger than this since we've been off film. So, anyway, guys, we're going to go get some things done so you guys can come with us. Okay? All right. Listen on the first dress that Sarah's trying on. How adorable is this dress on her, you guys? Yeah, we're in the third. Yeah, we're right here. Okay. You guys, this is super cute on her. 
Okay, so this is option one. We're gonna get a couple of things first. So this one is really cute. Minus out the the bra right now because she would need a like a like a front different style thing. This dress is okay. I mean, I wouldn't say it's the best option, huh? but it's cute. What do you think, Sarah? Hmm. Mostly trying to see what my boyfriend says. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's another option. She's tried some longer dresses on. We picked one of them. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't pick any of the long ones because they were. He said all my little something. <laughs> That one's a hard one though on the arms. This one though, she really liked this one when she found it, but I don't know what she can it now that it's on. What do you think? It's just because like I said, you need to have like a silkier pair of underwear. I like it. it. I it think it's pretty. really cute. Okay. Sarah's a little nervous about this one because it requires no straps. But I think it's really cute on her. I love it on her. It's a really complimentary color too. It's like a really pretty peachy salmon color. Hello, Barbara. My baby Barbara. Yeah, look at her looking all good. She needs a little more work finished, but you guys, I have to show you something. Hold on. If it's still going on, there's like a whole lightning show happening out here. I don't know if it'll do it anymore, but I was just standing out here and it was like a bunch of lightning flashing everywhere. There it goes. Holy moly, it lit up the whole sky. What the heck? Yeah, I'm standing in the middle of the street. Okay, that is so cool. You got the camera does no justice for it. So. Oh, there it goes. That's super cool. Let's see if I can. Zoom in over there. If we can get some more action, that would be awesome. There it is. How amazing is that? That's so cool. There you go. So, today Sarah and I spent the day Wow, I love it. I love stuff like that. We spent the day going shopping. I got this really cute shirt and these cute shorts. Like, really like these. And there's Barbara looking all beautiful. So, still got to finish. Like, I've been doing little by little, but you guys are going to get to see a lot of the work I'm doing inside of her. Um, but yeah, she's here with us. To puppers. Hi, puppers. What are you guys doing? Hi. Oh, he's just standing out here. But anyway, come on inside. It's a mess in here. Whoa. Whitewash. The light show is awesome. The whole sky is lighting up over there. Like the whole thing is lighting yeah. up. It's really cool. So Sarah's wearing one of her new dresses. Arian's like, I'm getting out of the camera shot. <laughs> I will be here, but I'm not going to be like that in it. <laughs> so Sarah's been doing lots of like Play-Doh art. Where's that stuff that you did earlier? Oh. So Sarah's been doing stuff like this. So she's got like these really pretty flowers. This is really neat. It's like a plate-like disc. This is like a little snow scene with a little guy sleeping. Then these are like snow pants. They actually go on the little, the little dude here. He's like a little snowboarder or skater. So she did, she made little skates, which are really cute. So she's, she just puts them all together. But this one is super cute. It's a little guy next to a little fire. Look at the little fire. So that's what she's been doing with Play-Doh. But anyway, so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I did do some clips with my phone, so sorry if the quality of the phone footage was a little bit rough. I was just using my sewing machine for my new shirts. Um, because I'm the kind of person that I like the little button down shirts, but I'm bigger in the bust. So it forces like the shirts to like pull open. And so I've learned over the years to just sew that part together. So you still get the, the cuteness of the buttons, but you don't have to worry about them popping open. And so that's what I did. But other than that, you guys, I'm gonna call it a night and say thank you guys for hanging with us today. Hope you like that little light show. We're gonna have a nice little storm coming in tonight. And I gotta go to bed because I got a 14 hour shift tomorrow. 
So thank you guys for hanging with us, being patient, and we will see you guys in our next video.